Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use Add Colony to display video ads using the Cocos Helper. The first thing that you need to do is actually make sure that you've set up the Cocos Helper. If you haven't done it, there will be a link in the description to show you how to do that in a very simple video. This is the iOS video. There will be an Android video as well, so check that out if you're interested in Add Colony for Android. So you want to go to the Ad Colony website, there will be a link in the description to that as well. Once you've signed up and logged in for free, go to monetization, go to set up new app, just select your platform for me, it's iOS, I'm just going to put global, put an application name, so I'm just going to put test Ad Colony app, this is, a bit of Yoda there in there and then if you have some sort of app that is directed at children then select this we don't just like a regular plain app and what the sort of ads you want but again you can just easily customize this click create and what we're going to need is this ad colony app id so let's just copy that go to our sch file go to ad colony app id you also need a zone ID which we can get from if we scroll down we have a zone that's added by default if you know what you're doing if you check out the documentation for add colony you'll understand what zones are you can set up a new one but we're just going to use the default one so click that select zone ID and from here you can easily change from like a regular pre-rolling to stitch or add to a basically value exchange value exchange is a rewarded video so for example if the user watches it you give them some gems for free instead of paying for it or if the user dies they can watch a video and they can just continue where they left off you can just easily switch between them depending on which one you want so I'll just click save now that we've got the zone ID copied, let's just paste that into here. The next step is to actually enable Add Colony right here. So set this to true. And what we need to do is add some framework. So to do that, go to Add Colony. I mean, CVP, basically your project. Go to Build Phases, Link Binary with Libraries. And what I'm going to do, I've got all the frameworks listed here. If you didn't notice, they are listed in a comment next to add colony and the linker flags that we need to add, which we'll do in a moment. So let's add the frameworks. We need add colony, but that's in a separate folder. We'll add that in a moment. So let's do add support dot framework. That needs to be set to optional. We need audio toolbox, which I know is already added right here. AV Foundation is already added, Core Graphics is already added, but Core Media is not. Core Media. We need Core Telephony. We need both the Event Kit frameworks. We need the Game Controller framework. We need the Lib SQLite free, so Lib SQLite free. We need free, not free dot zero. You want to type in libz and you want the 1.2.5.dy lib. We need mediaplay.framework, message ui.framework. There are a lot of frameworks, but once you've done this once, you can display as many ad colony video ads to your heart's content in your application. So we've done, well, what do we just do? Message ui, course core is already added. Let's add social.framework social dot framework set that to optional again it's it, it's all in the comments what you need to do and how you need to change them if you need to store kit dot framework that needs to be set to optional system configuration dot framework webkit dot framework and webkit needs to be set to optional go to build settings and in here keep going down until you get to linking go to other linker flags Let's double click here you need to add a couple of flags again both of these are in the comment so put dash objc dash f objc dash arc 
and now the only thing to do before we actually start using code is add in the framework so if I open up my Cocos master folder this is basically what's downloaded from github and go here I'm going to extract the add colony dot framework dot zip and in there is the add colony dot framework file so copy that go to Xcode open up the frameworks folder copy and paste it into here now let's close some of these finders drag and drop down to frameworks make sure the options are set to what I have them set as like so click finish and now we're all set up let's go to hello world scene to display an ad all you gotta do is sonar cocos helper add colony show video ac there's a pre-op and a post-op this just basically means do you want some sort of banner beforehand and afterwards it's just informing the user what is going on well if you don't i mean if you do you put true if you don't you put false i'm just going to put true with them but experiment with them and put false to see what happens so if i just click play now And once this loads, it'll set up and what we'll do is we'll click this button that'll be in the bottom right and you'll load an ad colony ad. So we've got our application loaded. Let's just click this button now. Okay, it didn't work. Let's click it again. Go to settings. let's rerun this maybe it's just like a little propagation issue which can happen yeah there you go it was just a little problem we just took a little watch setup on the ad colony and so now we got this if we click continue that's it for ad colony ads we recommend that you go on to the dashboard modify the ad zone aka change this from a pre-roll to a value exchange if you change it to a value exchange what you can actually do is go to this iOS results.mm file and all these methods are static this method will be called once the user has viewed an ad and in here you can handle C++ code objective C code because it's a .mm file so you can attach some sort of scene to it and actually run what you would give to the user so again if you allow the user to watch a video provide them with some gems you would do that here so check that out that's it for ad colony if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash quick questions.php there will be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day